As with UK CPO9, we still expect to see more years with mild wet winters or hot dry summers and fewer years with colder winters or wet summers. Where we hope to make a difference this time is to describe the future UK climate in terms of changes in frequency, intensity and duration of weather events. And one way we're doing this is to focus on the common circulation patterns. In winter, for example, we see an increase in the frequency of westerly wind patterns that bring milder, wetter weather at the expense of the colder easterlies. In a future summer, most of the runs point to dry weather, and whilst changes in the circulation are contributing to this in Scotland, their effect is much less over southeast England. Well, this is something we're still looking into. One big player is the position of the jet stream, the fast winds up where the planes fly, which is sometimes used to explain the weather on telly. The jet stream prefers to occupy three positions. There's one well to the south of the UK, a middle position just to the south, and then a position north of Scotland. The model projections done at the Met Office show that in future winters, there is a shift away from the southernmost position and an increase in the northerly position. This is linked with more westerly and fewer easterly wind patterns. Also, the warmer atmosphere in the future can hold more moisture and so there will be more rain for that reason too. We are also following up on research as to which changes in worldwide temperature patterns are causing this. In summer, we are actively following up research that links the temperature patterns over the North Atlantic with the pressure patterns and the amount of summer rainfall over the UK.